I want to clarify this before I go on with this episode review. All visual novel players, I direct what I'm about to say towards you real quick. I don't hate this series. I don't hate the story. I don't hate the characters. I don't hate none of it. I'm just letting you know right now. I don't hate the series. I actually am quite fond of this series, and I'm going to be playing the visual novel. Anime-only watchers and visual novel players, if you enjoyed this episode, I am not going out of my way to strike at you and make you mad. It's just my opinion for what I'm about to say. Okay. This episode of Grisaya. Just straight off the bat, I want to be straight out honest. I didn't like it. I, I absolutely did not like this week's episode of Grisaya. Last week's episode, as we all know, it was a very heart-touching episode, depending on the situation, if you had some form of similar events that happened to you in your actual life with, you know, an animal dying, a close animal that you thought of as a family member that was to die, like, for instance, the cat. And to see this episode start off, I thought we were going to continue off where the last episode left off, you know, trying to save the cat, go to a doctor, whatever, trying to get the cat to stay alive. But, no, we're instantly brought to a scene where... Michiru is laying in the bed, all depressed, acting like the cat died, which, okay, I understand that, but it's like they skipped the entire dialogue between those two scenes. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? And I'm like, what? And, and then it just shifts over to multiple different scenes this entire episode. Like, at the course of the end of this episode, I'm gonna be honest, I, I don't care for Michiru. I, I, I don't care about Michiru at all. Honestly, I had a lot more emotions for the cat than I had for Michiru and this girl that supposedly wanted to commit suicide. Honestly. I, I want to be straight out honest. I, I I could care less. It's not because I hate Michiru. It's not because I hate her character. It's not. The amount of development I could sense as an anime-only watcher that is rushed in this is insane. I, I see the rushing. It is bad. One scene after another. Like, the way they did the flashback at the end of this when you saw Michiru shoved into a fucking coffin and being buried alive... And then all of a sudden she's having this flashback and then she's having this inner fucking ghost cat thing. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And when you see this other personality talking, just introduced and talking with each other, the different eye colors changing, I'm like, oh my god, like, there's just so much shit going on. Like, I, I was having a struggle to keep up with this episode. The main moral I got out of this episode, the only major thing I got from this episode was that, for instance, girl A, okay, she wanted to live. She wanted to continue on living. Girl B wanted to commit suicide. She got, like, her heart transferred into Girl A. And then, pretty much at the course of the end of this episode, Girl B went to sleep forever. Okay. I had to go ask my fellow Chibits on the Chibit Facebook community to make sure I clarify this. To make sure I got this properly. And, that, just like, what the fuck? Like, like, the house at the end. The house at the end of this episode... Like, the entire bit with whoever that was. Like, I'm guessing that girl was Girl B or whoever that was that wanted to go see her parents' house. I'm guessing, like, what what was going on in that scene? Like, the, the amount of rushing in this is insane. I, I couldn't keep the fuck up with this series. Like, you had these random pills that popped up out of nowhere, and you saw freaking Yuji shove them down fucking Michiru's throat. I'm like, oh my god, this is fucking rape. And then we find out at the end it's, like, candy. And then, one thing that really made me start questioning this episode is when we find out Mitru, with her entire dialogue flashbacks and monologues and shit like that, we find out when she finally gets out of this coffin, she's been in that coffin for three fucking days. Three days. Think about that for a second. She has been in that coffin for three days. Yes, I know there's probably supernatural elements. I mean, you have a freaking cat enter a dream. You have freaking split personality being transferred through a freaking heart. Okay. But she was in that coffin for three fucking days. Like, shouldn't you need water or food or something? I mean, what the fuck? I mean, Yuji, you had Mitru ask Yuji, like, oh, did you eat anything? He's like, I didn't eat anything for three days. I'm like, shouldn't you be asking your own self that question, Mitru? Also, here's another thing, okay? It's not just the fact of food and water. She was in a coffin. A coffin with dirt. On top of it, closed, oxygen, physics, oxygen, you need oxygen to live, oxygen, but, I, is Michiru part Frieza? Is Michiru part Frieza? Is this confirmed? Is this confirmed? Is it? Okay, so, why 
why is this rushed? Like, why are they trying to rush this? I, I was honestly very happy about the series. I was actually very excited to continue watching this series. You all saw my impressions last week, the week before that. I love this series. I looked past all the fan service because I saw a dark, gritty story that I actually wanted to watch. And I love the anime for that. But then I'm starting to see all these elements being rushed. It's bringing back those memories of Black Bullet into my eyes. I'm like, you knew. It's bringing back memories of Black Bullet. And when I get Black Bullet vibes, that's not good. Not good at all. Uh-uh. Oh, God. I don't want Black Bullet vibes. So, uh, I'm just going to announce this right here, okay? To save everybody else's sanity and not to piss off the entire fan base of Greatest Asylum, if the next arc is rushed like this, I am instantly dropping this series. I'm saying it right now. I'm dropping the series instantly if I see the next arc rushed like this. If I'm starting to scratch my head in confusion because of the developments, or if I'm questioning and wondering, like, why should I care about this character, then, yeah, I I'm dropping it. Because I shouldn't feel like this. I know for a fact I should care for Michiru. And I know this is based off a visual novel, and of course, they have a limited set number of episodes, 12 to 13 episodes, but that's no fucking excuse. It's not. If you can't adapt something properly, you don't do it. That that's end of the line. Cut right there. End of the line. If you can't do it properly, if you can't adapt it properly, don't make it. And that, I'm not giving any excuse for any studio. None. They, they may have a set number of episodes of 12 to 13 episodes. It doesn't matter. They don't need to force all the content in 12 to 13 episodes. They can do one fucking route in 12 to 13 episodes. They don't need to do all, like, 50 if there was 50 routes. They don't need to do that. So, yeah. I'm, I'm dropping this like hotcakes if the next arc is rushed. So, yeah. Just warning you all right now. So that's going to be the end of this rant, actually. I can't even probably call this a review. So this is going to be the end of my rant of Grisaya this week. See you all next week for Grisaya. Hopefully it is not like this. Hopefully we have something better than this. You all have a wonderful day or not, wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.